said, Amnon, my brother Absalom's sister, I'm in love with her. Hear what you do, said Jonadab. Go to bed. Pretend you are sick. When your father comes to visit you, say, have my sister Tamar Tama come and prepare some supper for me here, yeah, which I can watch her and she can feed me. Those of you that visit brothers, you see how you start? Before you got there, they planned. <laughs> Before you got there. You know, there are some, I don't know, why do you visit people, why do you visit guys at home? It's a regular pattern. It's a regular pattern. Indomie egg, bathroom, climb bed. 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 That's all. Indomie egg, bathroom, climb bed. Indomie egg, bathroom, climb bed. That's all. Don't visit. I'm telling you, in, I do not. I tell them in the committee, don't visit. Listen, listen. Are you getting something? If you have made up your mind to marry somebody, never sleep with that person. We are not even talking of Bible now. Aside that God will be offended, that will be a terrible marriage. Because you people are already stealing what is yours. You are building the spirit of adventure in that guy. Don't forget Proverbs 9, 17. It says, stolen waters is sweet. After he marries you, he or she will still want to be stealing that adventure of stealing, of doing something outside is already there. That is why most people who sleep with themselves before marriage always cheat on themselves after marriage. Because adventure. Do you know what it feels like? You are sitting down. Your, your mother kept um, a plate of rice, meat, and everything. Then you came, you peeped around. You went, you ate one, you sat back. Your mother said, Who took something? I, no, I, I didn't take anything. No. <laughs> like children. They say, I was on my own. No. <laughs> Once you hear a child say, I was on my own. No, he's lying because children are never on their own. <laughs> I was on my own. No. You take, take two, take three. After you take four, your mother now comes. She always be taking this, this, yeah. He said, The food actually is your, your own. Do you know how stupid? Do, <laughs> do you know that? Okay, you see the way you feel now. There's this stupidity. You have lied. You have played game. You just stand. You are looking. Say, mom, is my food? Say, yes, it's your food. Eh. <laughs> when you want to marry somebody and you go ahead do that, you are stealing what is yours. And once that spirit of adventure is wired into a person it continues it never stops so i'm not took to his bed and acted sick the king came to visit amnon said would you do me a favor have my sister tama come and make some nourishing dumplings yeah why i watch her and be fed by her a seven david sent one to tama who was at was home at that time who was where who was here she was a virgin. She was home. Do the maths yourself. Those who go out. <laughs> Can't have that testimony. Those who are homely. David sent what? To time she was home at that time. Go to the house of your brother Ammon and prepare a meal for him. So... <laughs> So Tama went. <laughs> Tama went to her brother Amnon's Amnon's house. She took dove, cleaned it from blah blah blah. Verse nine. But when she took the cooking pot and served him, he wouldn't eat. That was not the food he wanted. 